What's up, guys? It's you know who it is. Mint was two of you here back again. So today's video should be short and sweet. I'm trying to keep my videos to a more manageable level in terms of how long they are. And so today's video is going to be an, uh, another attempt at doing that. So we're just going to talk about diag tools, right? So diagnostic tools. Disclaimer, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a technician. Uh, I'm your average DIYer who likes to uh, work on his own vehicles, do his own service work. And uh, I mean, I'm not, um, it's not like I don't know very much. I mean, I did build my own truck, built my own car, uh, basically bought cars that were beat up, ran down, rebuilt them, got the engines running, got the engine running, did all the transmission work, did all the uh, um, suspension work. So I, I, I know a little bit, right? But I'm no pro, I'm no technician, no mechanic. So I just want to put that out there. I am a mechanical engineer, so I basically tell the mechanics what to do. No, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. I don't want to piss anybody off. So let's get into it. So diag tools, right? I'm still learning about Diag tools, and I've got a nice little collection of Diag tools um, in my box and my setup. Now, what you're looking at here is my EDC, right? So this is my everyday carry um, and what I would carry on me uh, if I was going to be working at the salvage yard or helping a buddy, I'm trying to get into my side cab here, helping a buddy do work. Uh, this will be what I would carry. Um, obviously at my house and soon to be new shop, I'll have, you know, more, more things, uh, to kind of help do this type of work. And, uh, I only expect this to grow. So, all right. So what I'm going to show you guys today is a few things that I do use things that I've gotten familiar with and I'm starting to, and things I'm still learning on. So the first thing is going to be the top Don, this top Don battery tester here. Um, and the part number is BT100. This thing here is awesome. So you can do a multitude of uh, checks. You can do uh, load testing for your battery. You can check your alternator. You can check your starter. You can check your cranking capacity. You can check your battery capacity. Um, you can do a lot of different things with this particular meter. It doesn't cost very much. I'll have to get the description and I'll put this down in, in the, uh, I'll have to get the part number and the details on this and I'll put a link to it in the description of this uh, video. But this is a really, really awesome battery tester. I don't think it costs very much. Certainly it's probably under $50, $60, I believe. Uh, it is from Top Don. I've seen a lot of other reviews on Top Don tools uh, and people seem to like them. So if you were looking to add a battery tester to your DIY uh, setup, I would highly recommend the Top Don BT100. Now I do have a blue point tester, which is right here. It's an older style one. I don't use that very often, but I do have it. So in the need that I needed something like that, I can certainly pull it out. But this top Don has been really good to me. Just use it today uh, to do some load testing on a 2002 GMC, what was it? A can? No, it wasn't a Canyon. It was a, uh, uh, what is it? The SUV. Um, not a Yukon, I, I forget what it was. Envoy, GMC Envoy, that's what I use it on today, 2002. Um, let's see here. The next tool we've got, let me see what I wanna to jump to. Your traditional multimeters, right? I packed this old Craftsman one here forever. I don't even know if a battery's even in it. Nope, it doesn't appear that it is. Kind of pulling this to be in my EDC if it doesn't work. Uh, but this old little battery tester, obviously you can do your AC, DC, you can check your ohms, you can do all your battery testing. It does, it does enough to get you by, but if you're really looking for a serious diag testing, diag or a multimeter, you need something a little bit better than that guy there. So um, I teamed up with Kai Wheats. This is a um, manufacturer supply tool. I didn't buy it. I'm going to put that out there, but I'm learning it, right? So I can't say, oh, Kai Wheats is the best thing in the world. This multimeter is awesome, et cetera, et cetera. I cannot say that. All I can say is that in terms of functionality and what it can test, there's a lot of other videos out there, so you can certainly go out there and pick whatever video you wanna watch. We are just not there yet um, where I can say, you know, this is what I thought about it in terms of its functionality, but it, it does a lot, Volm, vo volts and ohms and um, capacitance and millivolts and uh, temperature milliamps, amperage. I mean, it, it does a lot of different things on here. It even comes with thermocouples for temperature testing. So I also have their little probe there as well. 
uh, which we'll talk about in a different video. But um, and it's digital, so that's really cool as well. Your part number is KM601, and it even has got an automatic feature, so it knows what you're testing, and then even will tell you which port to plug in your kit your cables to. I mean, it's a really cool little gadget, and I think this is less than like sixty dollars off of Amazon. So it's not a lot of spend for something that is very very versatile. And I think no matter if you're a DIYer, mechanic, technician, engineer. Uh, professional basket weaver, you need to have yourself a multimeter in your arsenal, whether it be in your home junk drawer, your car, your EDC, your toolbox, everybody should have one of these because if it's nothing more than checking battery voltage, um, you, you're getting some use out of it. Um, checking your temperature in your vehicle, say for instance, you're not getting proper temperature, you think your uh, air conditioning is too cold or not cold enough or too hot, not hot enough, Etc. These, I mean, something like this could be very, very versatile for you and very, very helpful, or at least get you enough in a direction where you can tell a professional mechanic, "Hey, this is what I checked. I, you know, I'm no expert in this. This is what I observed," and kind of get them pointed in the right direction, and they can start looking for things to help troubleshoot what you're experiencing. So, something like that may go a long way. You don't have to be an expert in it, and you don't have to try to solve your own problems. But it does make sense to present someone with enough information to kind of help them out when they're doing their own um, troubleshooting or diagnostic. Um, you see here I got another uh, older style multimeter. This is my Blue Point. This is probably one of my favorite ones. It's older. It's, it's durable. I rebuilt this thing here. It was literally a pile of junk. Some people may still consider it to be junk. But I basically tore it apart, re-soldered everything, the capacitors and everything inside of it. I rebuilt it. Uh, I think I put another battery in it. No, I didn't. I, nope, wait a minute. Hang on. There we go. Put the new battery in it. So I typically don't keep a battery in it because I don't want the battery to go bad and then mess up my meter. But um, this is one of my favorite ones. Just a bigger one. There's nothing special about it. So we won't talk about part numbers. Um, let's see here. Another tool I got is an amp clamp. Um, I use amp clamps a lot for at home use, actually, believe it or not. I was recently put my home on the market. Uh, the home is sold now, so that's kind of old news. Uh, but this Kiwi's uh, uh, HT206D was sent to me at the same time as the other tool was. And so I'm still learning this one as well. But it is digital once again. It does come with leads, comes with thermocouples, etc. So you can do a lot with this little meter as well. Once again, this is less than $50 on Amazon. So it's a great little tool. And the one big thing to remember, guys, you don't have to know how to use everything, right? But if you are a person who likes to learn, you can take a half an hour out of your day or half an hour, half an hour out of your week to learn how to check voltage properly, to learn how to check amperage, frequencies, capacitance, temperature. I mean, you could get on, there's a million and one YouTube videos out there that people that are taking time out of their lives to show people like me and others how to do some of these basic skills. Right. If there was a class on how to use a multimeter effectively and be 100 percent queued up on it and know exactly what I'm doing in each and every scenario, I tell you what, I'd be signed on the line for it. And I have no quarrels which would admitting that to the public, which I'm doing right now. I just want to know how to use every tool effectively. There's people out there that like CP to tool addict and other people that are pros at diagnostic tools. That's great and all. I'm not at that level, never probably will be, but I, at, at the very minimum, I want to be somewhat proficient in how to use my tools, right? These these here, the Kiwis ones, you know, I don't have an investment in them, right? Other than the fact that they sent them to me, I'm not going on saying go out and buy them. They're the best tool ever, like I said before. I'm still learning. But other ones here that I did, in fact, buy, I have an investment. So I really, really want to learn them because I put money into learning them. And so it means a lot more to me than something that I was given. So nonetheless, I want to know all my tools proficiently. And so that's what I'm working towards. So just putting it out there, being 100% honest with you guys. Here's another tool that's been invaluable. I've had this for several years now. I think I bought it like maybe five, six years ago, believe it or not. Um, my vehicle, my transmission issues, and I was driving back from Tennessee, and this was a lifesaver. So this is my Innova 3100. Just a regular code reader uh, scanner. But what is cool about this guy, you can't erase some codes. So some things that pop up, it's an easy way to run codes, write them down, 
erase them, and then drive your vehicle and see if those codes pop, up, pop back up again. Typically, that's an indication that there's something wrong. Doesn't mean that it's that exact issue, but it does indicate that there's something that's reoccurring and you need to get your vehicle checked out. Certainly, you can provide those codes to the to the mechanic or the shop you take your vehicle to. Now, granted, they're going to run their five six thousand um, dollar Jesus Walk with Me scanner, and it's going to know everything that's wrong with your car, including every time you farted in your seat. That's all in, well and dandy, but at least you know enough to say, "Hey, I, I ran a quick code on my car. I didn't erase them. These were the codes that popped up. So I don't know if that means anything to you, but at least you have that information. And I think that's important, right? At least shows that you're taking a step." As adults, as men and women, it's easy to let someone else do the work for you. You just step aside, throw them some cash, and then they do the thing. But in my opinion, I think it's better to be able to take that person that even if, even though you got to go to them for help, you can say, hey, this is what I did do. Um, I tried my best to kind of come up with something to provide you with some information, and hopefully it will be useful for you. Uh, and you're not being a complete loaf. It's, it's, I mean, you got to learn skills, guys. You can't just go through life just you know, not knowing shit. So that's just my opinion. So I'm going to end the video here, but these are some tools that I got in my arsenal. Like I said, my blue point multimeter, my top Don, number one, I will recommend this one, go out and buy you one. Top Don BT100 battery tester, my Kiwi's brand, which we're still testing, my multimeter, my amp clamp, and my little smaller meter that's in there. A little cheap. Uh, you can go to Harbor Freight, get yourself one of these little small multi multimeters, we'll get you by for you know on the road but ultimately you want to get something a little bit better the Innova get yourself a little uh, code reader uh, it doesn't have to be you know anything spe spectacular as long as it can read most general codes you won't be able to read pull all your transmission codes and other things like that but you know your, your engine codes um, check engine codes these things are great for so hope you guys like the video this is my this is my setup by no means do you have to go out and get any everything that's on here, with the exception of the BT100. Um, but these are things that I would say that if you're going to do any type of diag work at home, um, you may want to consider buying one or some of these. Okay, guys? Love you. Catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.